Hello and welcome to the Proyaku Report, Volume 1, Episode 46, Park Adjusted Home Runs. I'm Michael Westbay, your host. With park adjustments and adjusted ERA taken care of last week, let's turn this week to the hitters. If you haven't seen last week's episode, I would invite you to first review last week's episode right up here. Uh, just click on there and run that one, then come back and see this one. Now, what I've done this week is I have added a couple more columns to the park adjusted tables. The first column that I added is for RBIs. As expected, the numbers that come out are usually somewhere in between the factors for runs scored versus allowed and earned runs scored versus allowed. You know, an RBI can be earned or unearned, so that makes sense. No real surprises in the effects of runs batted in. The other column that I've added is for park adjusted at bats. All of the stadiums are pretty much 100% plus or minus 4% with extreme pitcher parks like Nagoya Dome being on the border toward the low end. Uh, extreme hitters parks like Yokohama Stadium tend to have the results, uh, the factors rather, come out plus four, sometimes plus three on the high end. And you know, again, there's really no surprises here. So now, with these two additional factors, I've gathered together the top home run hitters from the two leagues. Well, let me modify that to say the top 12 Central League home run hitters as three hitters tied for 10th with 16 home runs. And what I find amazing is that you can have 12 hitters ranging from 16 home runs up to the top of 60. That is one wide range over 144 games. Anyway, let's take a look. After applying the factors to at-bats, hits, home runs, and RBIs, Similar to how I applied it to earned runs last week, I calculated the adjusted batting average and compared the results of the actual actual statistics to the adjusted results for the Triple Crown statistics. Now, looking at the differences, it's clear that Jingu and Yokohama have contributed a great deal to the top two team sluggers uh, in the Central League. With over half of his home runs coming at Jingu, it and the five home runs at Yokohama had a boost of about 20 home runs to Ballantine. Playing at Yokohama gave Tony Blanco a boost of almost 21 RBIs, 72 of his 136 runs driven in, occurring in Yokohama. But what really strikes me the most on this table is how much of an effect the ballpark plays in determining who is going to make the top 10 list. Sure, there are a few sluggers from teams like Chunichi or SoftBank who play in a primary pitcher's park. But mostly, playing in a stadium that favors home run hitters is especially beneficial. What stands out for you? And with that, I submit to you this week's Pro Yaku Report. Thank you for joining me, and until next week, take care.